Today I thought it would be fun to kind of show you guys how to add bangs to your lace front wigs, which is something that I've done in previous videos before, but I wanted to do it specifically on this wig right here from Sassy Misfits. All you're gonna need to add bangs into your lace front wig is a rat tail comb, some really nice sharp scissors. I recommend uh, hair cutting shears or craft scissors. Those are gonna work really well. You just wanna make sure they're really nice and sharp. And then you're also gonna want a heat comb. And whenever I say you're gonna need a heat comb, you guys know I'm gonna tell you also just to make sure your wig is heat safe before you use this method. I also thought it'd be fun to test out a new product while we're working on this wig. And I got this really cool thing off of Amazon and it's actually meant to help you cut bangs into hair. So we're gonna go ahead and try this on this wig as well. You're gonna wanna go in with your rat tail comb and you're gonna wanna section out the hair that you're gonna wanna make into bangs. You really wanna get a nice V shape in the front of the wig for the bangs that you're gonna be cutting in. Now, the more you pull for the hair forward, obviously the thicker the bangs are gonna be. I'm going for a more like light kind of wispy bang. So I'm not gonna be pulling a ton forward here. I'm gonna have about mm, this right here is what I'm gonna start with. And you can always add more, but obviously you can't do anything if you've already cut the hair. So I always recommend going with a little small amount first and you can always bring some more bangs forward and add them into your bangs if you want to make them thicker if you feel like this is not enough once you're done. And then another little tip I have is to go ahead and take a little scrunchie or hair tie and just pull that hair back that you're not working on just because we don't want any accidents and we don't want to cut any hair that we don't want to. So then once you have your hair sectioned off, what you're gonna have to do is because this is actually a fixed middle part, it has a plucked out part here, we're gonna have to get rid of this separation that we have here in the bangs before we go ahead and cut into them. Otherwise, they're gonna separate, which if you're looking to make curtain bangs, then you just would skip this step and go ahead and leave the part. But because I wanna actually make straight across bangs, I need to remove this part first and that's where the heat comb's gonna come into. So then once you have the hair sectioned off like this, you're gonna go ahead and grab your heat comb. I like to have it at about 300, 325. You can start off lower and work your way up, but really you don't need it to be high because you're not doing any repairing. We're just trying to manipulate this part and get rid of it. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wanna run your heat comb through it until you kind of see when you let the hair go that you don't have that separation where that part is. So I got this off of Amazon. It actually comes in a two pack. You get this one here, which is for bangs. And you also get this huge one, which I'll use in another video for trimming and just, I don't know, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna try all sorts of things with this thing. So the directions say you wanna open it up here. You wanna make sure that this is on zero. So it's gonna show us a nice level straight line. You go ahead and clamp the hair in between. And then it has this little lock on it, which I thought was kind of cool. So you can actually put it in and then you're gonna lock it. And then it says to then slide it down to where you want your bangs. So now one thing you can do to make this a little bit easier on you, if you're really unsure where you want these bangs to go, you can throw this wig on first. And you can put this in there so you can really see like where you want those bangs to lie. Totally up to you. If that is easier for you, you can absolutely do this on your head when you're doing all the measuring. I also always recommend kind of going a little bit longer than you actually think you want them to be, just because it's a lot easier to go in and kind of trim them up. Plus, I also like to take my scissors and I'll show you guys at the end and do a little point cutting just to kind of break them up a little bit. So if you have just a tiny little extra room there, when you're doing that, you can kind of come up and you're not gonna have to worry about it being too short. Now it's time to cut. Don't be scared. I know cutting can always just be scary when you're going into a wig, but it really isn't hard. Once you get that first cut, you've done the hardest part. Just keep going and trust the process. And when you're cutting, you want to cut below this contraption, not above it. So once you have those bangs in there, the only other thing I like to do is I just like to kind of point cut. So you're going to take your scissors and literally point them up to the sky and you're going to just cut these ends and it's just going to help kind of soften them up. So it's not such a blunt straight line and it's also just going to hide any little imperfections as well. And then the last thing I like to do anytime I'm cutting wigs at all is I always want to kind of seal the ends with a little bit of heat. If you don't do this, kind of what will happen is the same thing that happens to split ends on human hair where it'll almost fray and run up. So if you add a little heat just to the ends here, you'll be able to kind of seal them. And then this is also a time when if you wanted to, you could put a little curl under into these bangs or any kind of lift or anything you want to do. You can do that with the heat at this time as well. Once you think that these are pretty good and you're okay with the way that they're cut, you're gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the hair down. 
And the next step is gonna be go ahead and try this on your head and see where the bangs are lying and if we need to do any trimming to get them a little bit shorter if they are too long. So this is the final result. I did go ahead and trim the bangs just a little bit because they were kind of hanging in my eyeballs. And then I went ahead and took my flat iron right here that I can also use to curl. And I just did a little curl under, let them completely cool, and then I threw it on. And I absolutely love them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I love a good wig transformation. So if you guys do this, please tag me. I love seeing when you guys change your wigs into something new. I'll go ahead and put the links down below in the description for you guys on the wig that I worked on plus the one I had on earlier. They're both from Sassy Misfits. And if you guys haven't ordered from her before, you can use code JESSE10 at checkout and you'll get 10% off your first order. Make sure you guys check her out. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you on the next one.